Got the AUG here, PK06. So this is the street. So we can already see the concrete barriers. So this is obviously, I mean, it looks like that to me that this is going to be like the actual limitation to the map from right here. I mean, I'm only assuming, but we are getting the streets of Tarkov. So yeah, to me, that looks like a temporary barrier. We got the SR2. Uh, this is, for those that don't know, this is a SMG that's going to be shooting the same round as the SR1MP. Uh, I don't know if they're going to nerf the rounds. I suspect that they probably will um, because it would be it's going to be so crazy if they don't. Or if they're just going to be like, hey, this gun's going to have like a shit ton of recoil. So either way, even if you use this gun in semi-automatic, it's going to be very good. It's like a nice step up from the SR1MP. Uh, that's going to be the new meta gun incoming. Yeah, this is going to be used a lot. Like I said, even in a semi-automatic situation, this thing should still be very good if they don't nerf the rounds. They will most likely adjust the rounds, though, um, especially if they give this thing, like, practically no recoil. Um, it's Or it's going to be level 4 trader locked. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to be deep in the tree. Probably, like, level 3 or level 4 prep or at least probably level 4 prep or. And... Uh, yeah, like, I, I don't know. It's it's going to be a cool gun, but I do think it's one of those weapons that, like, it does have the potential to be just as powerful as, like, an MP7, but I don't think it's going to be, like, used all the time. Like, I suspect it's going to be a bit pricey. But anyway, we got a dead guy here hanging upside down. That's not ideal, of course. Yeah, you know, nobody ever, you know, in every Tarkov trailer, you always have, like, the dudes rolling in, like, a low-ready stance, like, tactically moving through the maps. That, like, never happens. It's just, like, full sprint. Underbarrel grenade launcher for the AK. I really wonder how that's going to be. But I suspect, like, um, most, like... They, I think some of the grenade launcher distances were changed. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like, did, did, like did the two to three meters were moved to like eight to ten meters, right? Uh, I don't know if there's any... Maybe there's still a two to three meter shell in the game, but there's a lot more like eight to tens. Plus, the distances for other rounds have been like greatly expanded. So, I don't know if you're going to be seeing a lot of like point blank grenade launcher action, but you're definitely going to be seeing some distance shots. And hey, a grenade launcher at distance is still going to be insanely powerful depending on the radius because i don't really use the 45 meter shells all that often i don't know um maybe it's not going to be as bad that's that's what they're gonna they're gonna do to balance it but it's tough that new handguard's sick though Yeah, the AUG, I think the AUG is going to be one of those guns, um, unless they make the recoil. Um, it's like the AUG, right? Like uh, the, G, the G36, man, I think they need to buff the G36. It's a shame that nobody uses that gun. I think, you know, there's, there's one thing to try to like be immersive and realistic, but if you have an entire set of weapons that the community simply doesn't use, then that's kind of a problem, right? Like uh, they should make it to the point where maybe it doesn't need to be the, be the best, but make it a little bit more usable than it actually is. Because there's quite literally nobody uses the G36. The G36 must have been one of the biggest letdowns. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a worse MDR. Yeah, anyway, so I'm afraid that the AUG is probably going to be in that category. The only thing that could really save the AUG is the, if the price point is good and the optic isn't that bad, even though it is a little bit rough. It's like looking through a pinhole. But if the price is good and semi-automatic is fine and the recoil isn't that bad... I could see people running this thing as like a really cheap, like, you know how people use the RFB because it's cheap and you get like a 308, it might not be the best, but it's just good enough. This could be one of those guns where it's like, hey, I'm going to buy the AUG because I'm going to get the optic. It's not that bad. The recoil's okay. It's like super cheap. We're ready to go. Bam. So that could be it. But right here, people are making a lot of speculation here. The reason why this guy doesn't immediately open up. So as you can see, bear tag, they're looking at him. He goes for the wave. Two bears are looking at him. He goes for the wave. 
and then starts like shooting. So there's been, I've already been seeing people on Twitter being like, hey, maybe there's going to be, you know, karma with PMCs. I don't know, but I, maybe that's just to simulate like a failed VoIP encounter or something. I, I don't know. Who knows? It's nothing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably nothing. I think people are looking into it too deep. <laughs> just uh, let's just just like go stab it. That was a lot of recoil on the SR2 right there. Yeah, that's a lot of recoil. Like I'm thinking that's I'm thinking this thing's going to have some pretty hefty recoil to the point where uh people might not enjoy it right away. Like they're still going to use their other SMGs in the game, but it's going to be one of those like specialty situation weapons. I don't know. I I I'm I I'm not going to say that the weapon's going to be a meta gun just yet. It's good that you'll be able to scab in on, a, on Streets of Tarkov. At least that's confirmed. That was not the SR2? I'm like pretty sure that was the SR2. That was 100% the SR2. Oh, no stock. The, f the stock was folded. Good call. Yeah, that's 100% the SR2. New red dot though. Like new Cobra site looks like. Yeah, so every everyone... Um, Oh, dude, everyone was pausing. Can I, can I like, is there a way I can get the frame? Like stop the frame right dead on? People, people stopped it on this guy. Like, like freeze framed it. Everyone freeze framed his nose. It's not his nose. What are you talking about? That's not his nose. Oh, that's the brim. That is the brim of the hat. Oh. <laughs> this is his nose. <laughs> Dude, dude, it look, come on now. It looks like this is his eye. This is his hat. This is his nose. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's the way it looks. Oh, he's got some trophies here. Look at this. He's got some trophies. He's got the bronze lion. Man, I wonder what this is going to be like. Oh, close the door. Oh, it look, dude, he goes in though, right? He goes in with his gun out and then he's walking up to the door. And he's also walking like really slow. Like, I don't know if he's forced to walk that slow or it's just like cinematic, but yeah, yeah, I suspect it will be a safe zone inside of it. But but the, the devs have said that uh, you'll be able to kill the traitors, which will affect your reputation somehow. So who knows?